Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a word cloud in Canva. Now Canva is free and all you have to do is just sign up and this will be your home page. So once you're on this home page, go to create design and in the search bar at the top, I'm just going to type in A4 because I'd like an A4 landscape page and just click on that. Once you've got this A4 page, we're going to go over and customize a few text boxes so that we can just copy them for our word cloud. So go over to text, click on it, go to any of these headings, it doesn't matter which one, just insert a heading and all we're going to do is just type in a word. Now for this word cloud, we're just going to be using capital cities Then I'm going to highlight the word then the first thing I'm going to do is customize the font. Now you can choose any font you want. I'm going to choose Heli Vector World. Then I'm going to go up to the text color and I'm going to have three colors for this word cloud. You can have one, you can have six, it's completely up to you. But I'm just gonna choose these three colors here. So the first word I'm going to change to this purple and then the final customization is just to take off this bold. Now once I've done that, I'm just going to deselect it, reselect it and copy it. Then I'm going to move it and then copy it again. And then for this word here, I'm gonna select it all. So click on it go to the text color, choose another text color, come back to the one at the bottom and do the same and go over to the final color. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna select them all and then I'm simply just going to move them to the top here and I'm going to reduce the size of them. So these are purely our copy and paste text boxes that we can now use for our word cloud. Click on the one that you want, the first color you want to start with, and then just select duplicate. And then using this little icon here, it's like a cross arrow. If you click on that, you'll be able to move that box. You can also move it by clicking on it, but sometimes you end up clicking inside it. That does make a difference. So now we're going to create the shape of our word cloud. And often a word cloud will stretch pretty much from one side to the other side of the page, and then top to bottom, forming a irregular cloud shape. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll use Paris and we'll just pop it in the middle here. Then we will click on another box, press duplicate and bring that down. And then let's just change the word. And then we can use this rotate icon here to rotate that round. And you can see I can change it to 90 degrees. Then I can increase or decrease the size of this word. And this is what makes it really simple to do in Canva is the ability to just increase and decrease the sizing. And then we can put this anywhere we want. So what we need to do is line up the letters. So if we click away, you can just see row needs to maybe nudged over one with my arrow key, maybe go back one. And this is what you'll end up doing quite a lot in creating this word cloud. Then we'll take this color here and we'll duplicate it, move it over, and this time we'll change the word to London. And again, we're gonna rotate this one, make this one quite big, and now you should be able to move it. There we go. And if you move your arrow keys, the box around the outside does disappear so you have a better visual about where you're placing your text. So I'm just going to carry on doing that and speed up the video just to create the actual skeleton of this word cloud. Then I'll come back and show you how to fill in the gaps and how to align some of the things that will irritate you if they're not completely lined up properly. Okay, so now I've got the basic skeleton of my word cloud. I can select it all. You can group it all together. Then you can go to position, go to center, and you can see it's perfectly lined up here because it's grayed out. But otherwise you'd click on center here and middle here. Then just select ungroup. You can keep it grouped if you like, but you can select ungroup because you do tend to have to move things around. So firstly, I'm just gonna show you a few little tricks to line some of these text boxes up. So just adding in some text here, just so I can show you how to line these up. Okay, so 
now you can see that there's not equal spacing between these words as they're lined up above and below each other. So select them all, go to position, and then go to space evenly and go to vertically. That will mean you've got an equal spacing then between each one. Now, because the text is different sizes, it doesn't always work well. You can see there are gaps here that are bigger than, let's say, this gap up here. So you can use that technique and leave it as is, or you can adjust it with your arrow keys completely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to finish putting all of the words in and then I'll come back at the end and show you how to export it. Okay, so once you finish your word cloud, you can select all of this here and just click on delete here. Then select everything, go to group, go to position, make sure it's all centered. You can see here that we need to center it because it's not grayed out and it's obviously in the middle as well here. Once you're happy, go to share, go down to download, select the file of your choice. You can have a PNG if you don't want a background on this. If you want to import it as a JPEG, it will have a white background. So select the file of your choice. Once you're happy, simply click download and your file will be downloaded. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.